We are going to do some experiments to learn about the phenomena of formation of shadow. For formation of shadow, we require three things, a source, an object, and a suitably placed screen. A screen is something that blocks the light which is passing by an object. So, the source sends out the light onto the object and the object blocks some of it and the rest of it that transmits across it is captured on the screen. This screen creates a dark patch and that dark patch is called a shadow. Absence of light is called shadow sometimes, but in a dark room when there is no light that is not called shadow. So, let us study about the phenomena of shadow. Light allows us to see things, but we cannot see the passage of light from the source. We can only see a beam of light from a source if there is something to reflect or bounce off from. Dust particles, smoke, haze and objects. Materials block or allow light to pass through them. As light falls on objects, it illuminates them. It is blocked by some objects, it passes through others. The ones that block the light are called opaque. The ones that allow all the light to pass through are called transparent and some that allow partial passage of light through them are called translucent. For the formation of shadow, we require three things. A source of light, an object on which the light is falling and a screen to trap the light which is going past the object. This particular shadow formed over the dark patch formed over here because the light is being blocked by this object which in this case is opaque, this is dark. So, the dark patch which is formed on the screen is called the shadow. It is the absence of light on account of it being blocked by the object. Shadows do not necessarily have to be dark. Shadow can also be colored. If you watch carefully, these are colored objects and you can see that you get a colored shadow. The different portions of the assembly of little plastic glasses shows that the transparency allows the light to pass through and so you get a colored shadow. You can also get colored shadow if the color of light changes. We bring a bird here. Notice the body of the bird has a small transparent blue patch. You cannot see the eyes of the bird, you cannot see its red body or the white feather, but you can see a small speck of blue in it. Shadows of objects do not necessarily have to look like the object. Supposing I put my fingers here and create a shadow like this. You can barely make out that it belongs to a ball and my hand. So, the shape of the shadow does not necessarily look like the object. Now, observe the shadow of this plate. It is a big round and as I move its position between the source and the screen, its size is changing. Take a close look at it is become very big and would get bigger as I take it closer to the source. Also notice the shape of the shadow changing as I change the orientation of this plate. So, shadows do not necessarily look just like the object. The size may be different from that of the object, their shape may be different and would depend upon where this object is placed between the source and the screen. Also notice that its sharpness is not the same in all the locations. When you are closer to the screen, you get a very sharp shadow. 
when you are closer to the source, there is a slight haze around the shadow. The lighter part is called penumbra and the darker part is called umbra. Something amazing happens to the shadow if the screen changes. What can happen to the screen? Right now we have a white screen. If we change it to something like this, then what happens to the shadow? You have experience of this on the roadside. You have the trees, you have the pavements, you have cars and as you see the shadow against them, it is changing. The size of the shadow can change, its shape can change. What will happen if the screen is inclined or has a certain orientation? From the activities, we learnt about the formation of shadows. We saw that the shape and size of the shadow depends upon the distance of the object from the source, the distance of the screen from the object, the orientation of the object, the orientation of light source. Of course, we also saw the nature of the screen mattered and that the shadows can be colored if the object is translucent or if the light source is colored.